What's up? Hey, so happy Thursday, everybody. And I just wanted to ask if you wouldn't mind if I didn't do like a big long vlog post today. Uh, I guess you really don't have a choice because I'm not going to anyways, but I figured I'd be polite and ask. Um, don't have time today preparing for some things that I'm going to do this weekend. Um, one of which is the uh, grand opening of the camera mall in Ann Arbor, Michigan. It's a really cool, small, uh, independently owned and operated camera store. Really cool place. And of course they sell Olympus gear. So I'm going to be there along with an Olympus tech rep, Mike Amico. Uh, him and I will both be there. Mike will be there both days tomorrow, Friday, um, and I'll be there Saturday. I'll be there playing a little game with people that come in. I'll have the 300 millimeter F4 the killer new telephoto lens from Olympus. We'll be playing a little game where you have to find objects hidden in the neighborhood using that lens. So basically you'll step outside of the store with that lens on, I don't know, like my EM-1 or if you have your own camera, hopefully you have your own Olympus camera, you can put it on yours and you'll just scan the area, tops of buildings, up in trees, wherever, you know, and find these clues to answer this hidden question and you win a little prize. Kind of a cool way to introduce people to the 300 millimeter and uh it'll be fun for me to just be there hanging out interacting with uh fellow olympus users so that's saturday um and you know i've got some family stuff that i'm going to do as well thinking about heading up north and opening up our camper for the season super stoked about that um so before i go i figure i don't want to waste your time with nothing so maybe I'll give you a little, a little tip or a little, little tidbit of information or something you can try. And I was thinking about this just before I hit record, trying to figure out what could I tell you that would be of use. Well, I came up with something, but unfortunately, it's only going to apply to a certain group of people. And that group of people are those of you who own a fish islands. Now. Even if you're not an Olympus user, you know, and you're somebody, you know, a different camera system, whatever, if you have a fisheye lens, this will apply to you as well. Um, but to my Olympus users, if you're using the 8mm f1.8 or the uh, the pancake, or not pancake, the body cap lens, or um, a, like a Rokinon fisheye, whatever, fisheye lens, something ultra wide. Um, it's cool to be able to shoot landscapes ultra wide, right? And a fisheye is ultra wide, and I shoot landscapes with my fisheye a lot, actually. <clears throat> but sometimes you don't want that fisheye effect, right? So I could give you the tip of center the horizon line in your frame. So by doing that, you're going to get rid of all that massive curvature that you would get from the fisheye, right? That's one way of doing it. And then, uh, but then you end up with this completely split image, you know, where it's split right down the middle from side to side, which that's not bad, you know, I mean, you can actually get some really compelling shots that way. The tip that I was going to give, though, is one you might not have thought about. And um, I got this from another photographer, Joe Ferrace. Um, I haven't talked to him in a while, and I just did, a, I had a little, little bit of interaction with him over a, a short period of time. But while talking to him one time, he gave me this really cool piece of advice that I want to pass on down to you. And that is, he said, sometimes he puts the, uh, he was talking about the body cap lens, but I do it with the eight millimeter fisheye. He said he'll get his fisheye on and then in his camera, he'll change the aspect ratio to 16 by nine. Now, what is that going to do? So by changing the aspect ratio to 16 by nine, you're kind of cropping out some of the top and bottom of your scene. And that helps to remove some of the distortion that you would get from the fisheye by things that are really close in the foreground. Or if you happen to have something up above you, like if you're shooting from out from underneath an overhang or something, that's gonna end up getting cropped out. So it gives you, you still have the ultra wide um, aspect ratio, you know, of the 16 by nine, 
without some of the distortion that you might get otherwise from like a four by three or whatever, uh, the tip, the normal aspect ratio for your Olympus camera or your Canon or whatever you're shooting with. Um, so what do you think? If you, oh, almost dropped you guys. <laughs> um, so if you do try this, share a link in the comments below to where we can see your results. I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think about it. Uh, and that's going to wrap up today's vlog post. I will put a link below uh, to Joe Ferrace's uh, information online. Really great guy. Um, you know, great photographer as well. Um, and then also maybe I'll put a link to some of the lenses that I mentioned below. Specifically, the body cap lens that I mentioned. And for those of you who don't own those, you're crazy not to invest such a small amount of money in a fun lens to own. Um, they actually take phenomenally good pictures. And if I said phenomenal once before in this blog post, I apologize. It's one of those words that's like stuck in my in my vocabulary lately and I use it too much. Anyways, I'm sidetracked again. <laughs> so you guys have a good Thursday. I'll see you on Friday. Saturday's vlog post is probably going to contain stuff from Ann Arbor. Cool. So show up at the camera store or the camera mall in Ann Arbor if uh, if you're a Michigan resident and end up on my vlog. How about that? There you go. There's an open invite to whoever wants to be on my vlog for Saturday night to swing by the camera mall between 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. Saturday afternoon. See ya.